Hi, I wanted to make a quick update video on my game project. Um, the first improvement is that the camera controller has now a smooth movement thanks to the method lerp. I mainly focused on animations the last couple of weeks. There is for instance a new door model that can be opened by the character with a new animation. I am really thankful for all those comments you left on my last update video. Due to this, I reworked many of the previous animations and the, the great response on my video motivates me a lot and it really keeps me going. The stiffness of the running animation was mentioned frequently, therefore I replaced the old animation with a better one and also added a sprint animation. I also added a dodge roll animation. This one was really hard to make and I ended up using a Mixamo animation as a guideline, but in the end it turned out really nice. The jump animation is still a bit stiff. If the player falls down, he enters the jump state and after a short time he loops the jump state until he hits ground again. Moreover, I reworked much of the environment. The old waterfall model was replaced by a more fitting one and I also added cliffs that replaced the rocks from before. Additionally, I tried to improve the heavy sword attack. Now the player moves the sword behind his head more convincing and hits the ground way faster than before. But he takes the sword too quick back to the main position um, and I think that I will change this later. The sword model was changed to a more simplistic one that the player holds now downwards, unlike before. I created two new sword slash animations in Blender, but the sword trail is still a work in progress. The attacks can be stacked, for instance if I press the mouse button once, the player does one slash attack, if I press it twice, he performs a follow-up attack. If the mouse is spammed, the combo is performed right. I also started an attempt on creating a combat system. For now it's very buggy, in particular the targeting of the enemy by the camera and the player. Plus the animations don't match with the fitting movement at the moment. To improve this I will add a strafe movement later. The logic of the enemy is also unpolished. He follows and does a certain action when he is near the player. Whether the enemy attacks once, twice or dodges is determined randomly. That's all for this update. For the next weeks I want to focus on my level design because I have only the bridge at the moment. I want to implement the underground temple so that the player can descend further into the abyss. Goodbye.